Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I will try out these acrylic pens Gravi kindly sent me. This set is the 28 extra fine tip acrylic markers, so you can find the link in the description below. This is not the first time using acrylic markers, but I'm so excited to play with them. I already have two illustration ideas and I can't wait to try them out. The set also includes this premium drawing pad containing different color papers, so I'll check how the lighter shades works on the black or dark blue navy paper, for example. Also, the grubby people included a bag of replacement nibs thicker ones which are brilliant surface covering. These pens are push pens, so you need to shake them, shake, shake, shake very well and then pump the nib on the paper to get the ink out. Now I'm going to be swatching the markers in the drawing pad so you can see how they look and dry on the paper. However, you can use them on multiple surfaces, not just sketchbooks. A couple of pages of this pad are dedicated to swapping the markers, one white, one black. So since I just need a sample of the markers, I will paint just the caps and not the whole marker. The colors are so bright and so vibrant, definitely more saturated than the color palette I usually use, so we'll see how they work in my illustration style. The type of paper this drawing pad has is fairly thick, but I noticed that if you overwork it, it tends to be ripped or damaged. I tried the pens in other sketchbooks and other kind of papers I have for my own sketches, basically, and it didn't happen on them, so it is something that can be a bit bothering, I'm afraid, and definitely it's nothing bad with the markers themselves, it's just the paper of this drawing pad. A nice thing with these pens is that since the paint is acrylic paint, you can use this on all sorts of surfaces, not just paper. I'll show you how they perform on different materials like fabric in my next video, so stay tuned! I sketched this Autumn Beauty earlier and she's going to be my model for testing these pens. I was honestly surprised at how perfectly the ink color matches the cap. Since the pens have this foggy, kind of foggy plastic body, when you shake them, you can actually see the ink mixing and check the ink levels, which I found uh, super convenient actually. If you've used other shake and push markers before, you know that sometimes when you press the nib on the paper, a big drop of ink can suddenly come out. It's frustrating because it's totally out of your control, but thankfully I didn't have that issue with these markers. I'm really grateful for that because it can completely ruin your piece. Now let me tell you a bit more about these inks. They are water-based, non-toxic and UV resistant, so the vibrant colors won't fade over time. It's a really cool feature. One thing that confuses me a little bit is that the pens are numbered, it's okay that, but for some reason the numbers are backwards and duplicated. It's a good idea to tag and number them yourself just to avoid any mistake. I'm not sure why they did that, but keeping track of the shades while painting definitely helps.
Before moving on to the next illustration, I'm going to finish this piece. I've added a few flowers and plants because autumn is just here, but most of the trees are still green. It's like the early autumn time. I was so excited to try out this white marker. It's always tricky to find a white marker that actually covers the color underneath. You want the white to look white and not like a pale orange or pale whatever color because it can't fully cover the base color. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. The last thing is adding the black details like the eyes and here's the final result. I think it's super cute and I'm really pleased with it. Now I'm moving on to the next illustration, which will have a Halloween theme. I'm going to use one of the colored pages in this sketchbook. The white fill didn't turn out exactly how I wanted because if you go over the same spot more than once, this paper tends to get damaged or peeled a little. As you can see, there are some small bits of residues left behind, so you also need to let it dry for a bit longer than just the ink, because these little bits take more time to set. If you touch them before they are fully dry, you might end up smudging other areas of the paper that you didn't want to. So, this little ghost is out on Halloween night. I gave him this witch's hat and a pumpkin basket. I think it gives him a really cute touch. I was going to leave the background with the purple of the paper, but then I thought that adding a darker purple frame would help make the character stand out more. It's really great that you can switch between the fine and thick tips, because with the thicker tip, for example, you can fill the background a bit faster. You can also see that those small residues have caused some smudges outside the illustration, but you just have to accept it, that's how it is. Just use another kind of paper. I wanted to show you how the lighter tones work on over the darker ones, so take a look at this kind of pale green, it's, it's such a lovely color. The moon is painted over the dark purple and it's actually covered really well. Now I'm just adding a final little touches to give the illustration a bit more depth 
and so it doesn't feel so flat. I am also adding some tiny leaves and plants to the hat and I noticed the illustration needed a bit more light so I am adding these little yellow stars which also of the darker background really well. Well, these pens were a lot of fun to use and experiment with. It's nice to know that if you make any mistake, the ink can cover it. But in general, I'm very happy with this and how they turned out. It is really cool to have these replacement nibs that you just can't pull the straight out and put the other ones in to get the thicker lines. I want to say a huge thank you to you guys for seeing this video till the end. Also a huge thank you to the Gravy people for sending me these pens to try them out. All the links are in the description below plus a 50% off using the code PATRICORALIS15. So if you are interested, please go down and check them out. So yeah, see you in the next video. Nos vemos.